Brian Higgins back here now, and we're joined by Devontae McFarland. Devontae, his first career 100-yard game against Wake Forest. And Devontae, what's the feeling like to finally see those triple digits next to your name? Uh, it's, it's a good feeling. You know, I, I worked hard and definitely had to thank my line for it. Uh, they, did, they did a good job, and it was, it was a nice win. I got to ask you about the long play. You go 86 yards, but not quite to the end zone. What happened to you there on the last couple of yards? Um, I, I really didn't hear anybody behind me, and I was looking for the board to see if anybody was behind me, but uh, he ended up catching me with his uh, helmet, so I'll get it next to him. Almost unfair, right, that the big scoreboard was behind you, so you didn't have a clear view. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they cheated me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Schaefer said he, he was yelling at you to weave from the sideline, but you probably couldn't hear him where you were at, right? Yeah, I couldn't hear him. I, otherwise, I would have weaved or something. <laughs> What happened at the beginning of that play? Because there was a monster hole, and you just burst through. Um, it was my line. You know, they did their they, they did their uh, great job with their blocking or whatever. Uh, the receivers over there, they did a great job blocking. I just hit my hole, did read my right reads, and did what I had to do. What's it like in the running back room right now? Because it seems every week it could be a different guy, and there's five of you guys ready to go. Um, it's just like uh, talented. It's, it's very talented in that room, man. Whoever wants to uh, come up that day is pretty much going to come up, and I just happen to come up for that game. What does that do to the competition, certainly in camp and, and now in practice throughout the year, to, to earn those reps? Because there's only so many that go around. Uh, it definitely raises the bar and uh, makes us better, me better, and just being a leader, finally. The one thing Coach Schaefer says that we may not see you or George or pick a running back on, on the given week getting the ball out of the backfield, but you all have important roles in special teams and the other units. How do you view that as sort of rounding out your responsibilities here on this team? Um, just to help the team win, whatever we have to do, whoever we have to uh, get on the field, and if they think that's what I have to do uh, to help the team win, I'm going to do that. All right, plan it forward here. You're going to Clemson. It's going to be a slightly different environment than Wake Forest. What have you heard about Death Valley? Um, that is loud, you know, it's noisy. Um, something like Florida State, so I, I can't wait to uh, experience it. When you go into a game like this, what are the emotions going in, and how do you get them under control when it's a little more hyped than the normal game? Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a little hype, but I try to take these games, you know, just like any other game, and uh, play football 11 on 11 and, and do my job. That said, Clemson has a pretty talented 11 that's going to be across the field. What have you seen on tape, and you look at a guy like Vic Beasley in this defensive line, what, what kind of challenge are they? Uh, he's definitely a great player. I, I watch him and their whole defense, they fly to the ball and I, and I, I like their defense.